You have people like Tony Perkins, the head of the Family Research Council, of an a, a de officially designated anti-gay hate group, so designated by the Southern Poverty Law Center, not because they oppose gay marriage. The Democratic Party opposed gay marriage until very recently, and it was not a designated anti-gay hate group. Tony Perkins likes to claim it's because they oppose gay marriage, but they're so designated. It's not true. Catholic Church, not an anti-gay hate group. <coughs> Too many gay people running that thing. <laughs> Tony Perkins and the Family Research Council on Proving Falls. First of all, they tell, Tony Perkins tells parents whose kids come out to reject them. Tony Perkins tells the parents of queer kids to do what Tony Perkins damn well knows drives those kids to suicide, doubles their already quadruple risk of suicide. Why would someone who calls himself a Christian do that? Because every dead gay kid is a victory for the Family Research Council. They argue that the gay lifestyle is sick and sinful and dangerous and they point to the suicide rate. And then they turn around and do everything in their power to make sure that suicide rate does not come down and to drive it. Tony Perkins sits on a pile of dead gay kids every day when he goes to and he calls himself a Christian. I don't understand how real Christians let that motherfucker get away with that. Grown out for saying that sort of shit, particularly in front of children, right? And it was at that moment when it wasn't just when there was a person of color in the room that the decent white person would speak up, but when there was no person of color in the room and the decent white person began to speak up, the things were really, really began to change around race. It doesn't mean don't still have a race problem. Obviously, we do. It's called the GDP. Um, <laughs> we need to get to that place when somebody says something shitty about queer people, when there's no queer people around, the straight people slap that down. Slap those straight bigots down. That's what straight people can do on a day to day basis. Confront other straight people around their homophobia and their hatred. And some other theology, but I feel that I have to because they use the Bible to justify um, you know, denying services and programs to gay kids, and I want to challenge them to look at their goddamn Bible. Um, but you can think I'm going to hell and still sign off on my full civil equality. No one's trying to change your mind or change your church. Um, Catholics think Jews are going to hell. Well, they don't need more. They did for 1950 years, <laughs> roughly. You know, all gay people want from people of faith who hate us is the same deal that the Jews and the yoga instructors uh, and the atheists and everybody else is going to hell has. Which is, isn't it enough that God's going to roast me on spit in hell for all eternity? Unless you don't believe that's actually going to happen, so you want to persecute me now just in case. Can't you just trust that Jesus really does hate me as much as you say? All we want is that same deal. And we know that they can get there because. They don't persecute Jews and Mormons. It took them thousand plus years, countless pogroms, lots of burnt down synagogues and the Holocaust to get there. But they got there. <laughs> Any other questions? Sorry that's so dark. And I say this all the cap on measure of culture is not is there no hatred. We will always have ignorant dicks like Michelle Bachman and her fag husband. <laughs> Racist shits. As we've seen Barack Obama just draw out the poison over the last four years. And the way the culture proves that it's getting better, the way the culture demonstrates its mettle, is by sending those fuckers to prison, by defeating Michelle Bachman and sending her home from Congress, and by reelecting Barack Obama. Hear that so good? Say something asshole, sarcastic, flippant, bad. Say, so, yeah, your hamburger is such a faggot. Your hamburger is so not good. Yeah, that cross. So, yeah, okay, well, that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> all of my lessons are great. Um, thank you all so much. I have a blast.